Let's discuss the calibration technique. We'll demonstrate using the sport. We'll build two databases in flight. One is for flaps up, which we call the cruise configuration, and another with flaps down. This is the landing configuration. Both databases, cruise and landing, will require a zero lift and a slow flight maneuver. No stalls are necessary. But first, we need to determine the pressure zero offset for your sport's brain box. We call this the hangar calibration. Power up the AOA now and note that it automatically goes through a self-test. There are three modes of operation. We just witnessed the self-test mode. Upon completion of the self-test mode, the sport goes to the flight mode automatically. The third mode is the calibration mode, and that's where we need to be now to accomplish the hangar calibration. To get into the calibration mode, push both the red and black buttons at the same time, and release both buttons at the same time. A pattern of flashing lights is your verification that you are in the calibration mode. Within the calibration mode, there are four pages, the hangar calibrate page, the zero lift page, the angle advisory page, and the save page. Each page has a unique pattern of flashing bulbs. With all eight bulbs flashing, you know that you are on the first page, the hangar calibration page. From the hangar calibration page, push the record button to write the zero offsets to the brain box's volatile RAM memory. Note that the sport has automatically moved to the next page. This page is the zero lift page, as indicated by the flashing green bulb on the bottom of the display. Skip this page by pressing the black page button. We'll deal with this calibration later. This is the angle advisory page, as indicated by the six bulbs flashing on the bottom of the display. Skip this page because we'll deal with this later as well. Note that the sport has moved to the next page. This page is the save page, as indicated by alternate bulbs flashing. From the save page, press the red record button to copy the hangar calibration data from volatile RAM memory to permanent flash memory. The hangar calibration process is complete and you may turn off the power to the sport knowing that the hangar calibration zero offsets will be stored in flash memory for at least 100 years or until you write over it again. Now let's get ready to go flying. Once airborne, and with the flaps up at a safe altitude, apply power to the sport. You will get several air messages during the self-test mode. Flap. Air. One, two. Once the self-test mode air. is finished, Three. the sport Three. automatically switches to the flight mode. Since the sport is not yet calibrated, the sport's AOA indications are false and should not be used. Push and release both buttons to get into the calibration mode you are on the hangar calibration page. Since you already have completed this part of the calibration process, move to the zero lift page by pressing the black page button. Verify you are on the zero lift page by the flashing green bulb on the bottom of the display. This is where you will perform a zero lift maneuver by pulling back on the sticker yoke and pushing on the sticker yoke until you have achieved zero G's or weightlessness. To do this accurately, take a tennis ball along and hold it on the palm of your hand. At zero G, it will just begin to float off your palm. At zero G, press and release the red record button to write this angle to RAM memory. Note that the sport moves to the next page the angle advisory page. This is verified by observing that the bottom six bulbs are flashing. This is a page where we will set the angle of attack where we would like the sport to issue an oral angle warning. We recommend that you maneuver your aircraft at 15 percent above the stalling speed. For this particular aircraft, the stalling speed is 65 miles an hour, indicated airspeed flaps up. 
So, 1.15 times 65 equals 75, and we should fly at 75 in smooth air in a shallow descent. At 75, push and release the red record button to write this angle of attack to RAM. Note that the sport automatically moves to the next page, the save page, which can be verified by observing alternate bulbs flashing. This is the page where we will save the calibration data to flash memory. Push and release the red record button. Note that the sport has now automatically switched to the flight angle, mode angle, and is using flaps angle, up angle, data to push. compute your angle of angle, attack. Angle, push. As you angle, angle, push, push on the yoker stick, angle, the AOA should decrease and the indicated airspeed should increase. As you pull on the sticker yoke, the angle of attack increases. Now, let's build the flaps down landing configuration database. Position the flaps to down. Get into the calibration mode. Skip over the hangar calibration page. Verify you are on the zero lift page. Perform the zero lift maneuver. Push and release the record button during the zero lift maneuver. Verify you are on the angle advisory page. Fly at 1.15 times the flaps down stalling speed. In this aircraft, the stalling speed is 60, flaps down times 1.15 is equal to 69. Push and release the record button. Verify you are on the save page. Push and release the record button to save the calibration data to flash memory. Note that after saving the landing calibration data to flash memory, the sport has automatically switched to the flight mode and is displaying your angle of attack using the landing flaps database to compute your angle of attack. If we speed up, the angle of attack decreases. If we slow down, the angle of attack increases. Maintaining a constant indicated airspeed, as we increase the wing loading, the angle of attack increases. As we decrease the wing loading, the angle of attack decreases. Congratulations. The sport is calibrated.